Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this sweater you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 6mm crochet hook. Don't forget the written pattern will be on my blog crochetwithcarrie.com so please go and check that out. We're going to start off with the back part of our sweater so begin by making a slip knot and chain 9. Then into the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet. And then continue making single crochets into every chain all the way to the very end. So at the end of that row, chain one and then turn your work. And now working into the back loop, we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way across. And then you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 66 rows for small, 72 for medium, 78 for large, 84 for extra large, 90 for 2XL, 96 for 3XL, 102 for 4XL and 108 for 5XL. So once you're finished doing your number of rows for your size, you should have something that looks like this. And now we're going to make half double crochets all the way across. So whatever number of rows you did for the band, you're going to do that same number in half double crochet. So I'm doing a size small. I ended up doing 66 rows for the band. So now I'm going to do 66 half double crochets. So begin by chaining one and make whatever number of half double crochets you need for your size. And that chain one that I made at the start, that does not count as a stitch. So once you reach the end, chain one and then turn your work. Don't forget that chain one does not count as a stitch. So make your first half double crochet into that same stitch and then half double crochet all the way across to the very end. So you're going to repeat that row over and over again by just doing rows of half double crochet. Just keep going until you have your preferred length of sweater. I did a total of 52 rows. So if you want to change your color like I did with mine, before I finished off my half double crochet, I have three loops on my hook. I grabbed my second color and placed it on the hook like so. And then I dragged that new yarn through those three loops.
So here I have my 52 rows of half double crochet completed. You do whatever number of rows you want. And then you're going to do the same thing for your front, but do 18 rows less than the back. So whatever number of half double crochets you did for your size, you're going to divide that by two. And then you're going to put a stitch marker into that number. So I did 66 rows for a small, so I put my stitch marker into the 33rd stitch. So now you're going to half double crochet until you reach the second chain, just the second stitch before your stitch marker. So begin by chaining one and then half double crochet into that first stitch and then every other stitch until you reach that second stitch before your stitch marker. So now you've reached your second stitch before your stitch marker. So now you're going to do half double crochet two together. So you're decreasing here at this edge. So yarn over, insert your hook, then yarn over again, take out that stitch marker, insert your hook into that stitch, then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Then chain one and then turn your work. So for your next row, chain one and then just half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat those two rows your next row is going to be a chain one and then turn your work. And then you're going to half double crochet until you have two stitches remaining. So here we are now at our last two stitches. So we're going to half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through all five loops. So your next row is going to be a chain one, then turn your work and then half double crochet all the way across. So keep repeating these two rows until you have a total of 18 rows completed from the very beginning of where you started decreasing. So count up 18 rows from when you first started decreasing. So now you're going to miss that very next stitch here and then move on to the next one and attach your yarn into that stitch. And you're going to be working half double crochet all the way across. So skip that stitch and then attach it into this stitch. So once your yarn is attached, insert your hook and then chain up one. And then into that very same stitch, you're going to make your first half double crochet. And then you're going to half double crochet all the way across. So once you reach the end, we're going to chain up one and then turn our work. And then half double crochet into that very first stitch. And then half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. So 
So once you reach the end of that row, we're going to chain up one and then turn our work. Half double crochet into that very first stitch and then half double crochet into every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. So now we've reached our last two stitches, so we're going to half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, you have five loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. So repeat those last two rows. Your next row is going to be a chain one, Turn your work, half double crochet all the way across. Your next row is going to be chain one, half double crochet to the, to the last two stitches and then do your decrease. So you're going to repeat that until you have the exact same number of stitches as you do on the other side. So at the end, your front panel should look like this. So we're going to put our front and back panels to one side and we're going to start working on our sleeves. So make a slip knot and then chain up nine. And then into that second chain from the hook, we're going to make a single crochet and then we're going to single crochet into every chain all the way to the very end. At the end of that row, chain one and then turn your work. And now you're going to be working into the back loops. So into the next back loop, you're going to make a single crochet and continue up along making a single crochet into every stitch. And then you're going to repeat that row until you have a total of 26 rows completed. This is going to be the cuff of your sleeve. So if you need it bigger, just add more rows, but try and make sure that it's an even number of rows. So once you have your 26 rows completed, we're going to chain one and we're going to make 26 half double crochets all the way across. So at the end of that row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. And into that very first stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to increase. And then just place one half double crochet into every stitch all the way across until you reach the second last stitch. So here we are at our last stitch. So into this last stitch, we're going to place two half double crochet. So for your next row, chain one and then turn your work and then place one half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat those last two rows until you have 54 stitches for a small, 56 for medium, 60 for large, 62 for extra large, 68 for 2XL, 
74 for 3XL and 78 stitches for the 4XL and the 5XL. So once you get to your required number of stitches, you're going to stop increasing. So your next row will be a chain one and then half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. And then repeat this row until your entire sleeve measures about 17 to 18 inches. So once you have that done, we're going to cut our yarn, leave a long tail and then fasten off. So now we're going to grab our back panel, lay that down and then get your front panel and put that on top. And then we're going to slip stitch across the shoulders right here. And then we're going to slip stitch on the other side as well, just to connect the, the two pieces together. So now we're going to lay our entire piece out flat like so. Then grab your sleeve and fold that over. And at the fold, you'll find your middle stitch. So grab that middle stitch, then get a stitch marker and then insert your hook, insert your stitch marker into that stitch and then line that stitch up with your shoulder seam and then connect the two pieces like so. And then you're going to slip stitch all the way across. So slip stitch all the way across here, connecting your sleeve to your, your main body part. So once you have your sleeve slip stitched to your front and back panel, you're going to do the same to the other side and then you're going to fold it over and slip stitch down along the edges. You can go all the way down to the, the ribbed band, but I stopped just before the ribbed band because I wanted this part open, but you do whatever you want to do. Now turn your sweater right side out. We're going to attach our yarn into the center of the V and then we're going to single crochet all the way around. So go ahead and attach your yarn to that middle stitch in between your V. Just tie your yarn like so. Then grab your hook and insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Then place your first single crochet into that very same stitch. And then you're going to single crochet all the way around your neck opening. Try not to have your stitches too far apart or it'll, it'll start to like cinch up a bit. So just keep going all the way around your neck opening. So once you've reached all the way around, we're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet that we made. So next we're going to chain five. Then 
then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches Then we're going to slip stitch into the next two single crochets that are on the neck opening. Then we're going to turn our work and then working into the back loop only we're going to make four single crochets. So work into the back loop of each of these four single crochets. At the end chain one and then turn your work again and then continue working into the back loop only make four single crochets and then you're going to slip stitch into the next two single crochets that are on your neck opening And then you're going to repeat that again you're going to turn your work and then you're going to do your four single crochets working into the back loop only and then at the end of this we're going to chain one and then turn our work single crochet down along again and then slip stitch into the two single crochets that are on our neck opening So you're going to continue doing that all the way around the entire neck opening. So once you've gone all the way around, you should have something that looks like this. So you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a long tail and then fasten off. So now we're going to lay the, the right side down like so. And then you see here where there's a seam. We're going to match this with that seam like so. Then we're going to grab a yarn needle and we're going to sew just along here. And then secure your yarn and then cut that. Then grab this back piece and line that 
with just where the ribbing begins of the neckband you'll see the line going across here so line that piece with that line and then sew that and that's your sweater completed so just weave in any ends and that's it so if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up don't forget i have the free written pattern on my blog it's crochetwithcarry.com so please go and check that out so until next time take care